Hello, boys and girls. Today, we will learn about the butterfly life cycle, how a butterfly grows. How a butterfly grows. Let's look at the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. First, the adult butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Then, a tiny larva hatches from the egg. We call that larva a caterpillar. After that, the larva will eat lots of leaves and form a pupa. We call that pupa a chrysalis. Finally, the adult butterfly emerges from the pupa, and the metamorphosis is complete. Let's read and learn about butterflies. Butterflies, written and illustrated by Melvin and Gilda Berger. Butterflies fly from flower to flower. Butterflies eat food from flowers. Fun fact, butterflies taste the flowers with their feet. Butterflies sip juice from inside the flowers. If you look closely at the photograph, you can see the butterfly's tongue sipping the nectar from the flower. That tongue is called a proboscis. Butterflies lay eggs. Fun fact, most butterflies lay eggs on plant leaves. Most eggs are green or yellow. Fun fact, butterflies may lay hundreds of eggs at a time. What happens to butterfly eggs? They hatch into caterpillars. What do caterpillars do? They grow bigger and bigger. Fun fact, as caterpillars grow, they change their skin four or five times. Changing their skin is called molting. Fun fact, the caterpillar forms a hard shell called a chrysalis. What happens to big caterpillars? They change into butterflies. What do the new butterflies do? Fun fact, the butterfly must wait for its wings to dry before it can fly. They dry their wings. Then they fly away. Now, let's watch the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. Like all butterflies, the monarch's life cycle consists of a series of changes called metamorphosis. Life begins as a tiny egg about the size of a sesame seed. The female monarch lays hundreds of such eggs, usually on the underside of leaves. Within a few days, the baby caterpillar begins squirming. It's ready to hatch. First, it chews a hole in the side of the shell. For several minutes, it gradually widens the hole. Finally, the infant monarch emerges into the world. Just two millimeters long, it's small enough to fit on the head of a pin. This newborn returns to snack on the nutrient-rich shell. But soon, it's off in search of its food, milkweed leaves. Young caterpillars are virtual eating machines. As they quickly grow, they shed their skin several times. 
Each shedding marks the start of a new life stage, called an instar. The caterpillar prepares to shed its skin one more time by searching the underside of a twig. Firmly attached to the twig, the monarch begins pupation, shedding its caterpillar clothes for the last time. The pupa, as it is now called, takes several minutes to wriggle free. Its plant-like appearance may help protect it from predators during its final metamorphosis. Motionless for about one and a half weeks, the pupa undergoes a wondrous transformation. Time-lapse photography reveals the exquisite colors of the monarch slowly forming. Its final metamorphosis accomplished, the new butterfly emerges. At first, the monarch's wings are quite small. But over the next half hour or so, fluids are pumped into the wings, expanding them to their full size. Finally, the monarch is ready to take to the air for the first time. The adult monarch will spend its life feeding on nectar from flowers and reproducing, beginning the life cycle once again. What did you learn about the life cycle of the butterfly? First, the adult butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. A tiny larva or caterpillar hatches from the egg and then eats the eggshell. Then the little larva eats leaves as it sheds its skin and grows. Finally, it will shed its skin one last time to form a chrysalis. This is also called a pupa. When the chrysalis has had time to develop over one and a half to two weeks, the metamorphosis is complete, and the adult butterfly emerges. I hope you enjoyed learning about the life cycle of the butterfly.